please stand as we welcome the graduates. Earlville CUSD 9 graduation celebration. This has been an interesting school year, but I am beyond proud of the way that these students handled it. It is a true testament to the type of students they are. Even though they were faced with many changes, they took it in stride and completed their senior year strong. These graduates are the true definition of D2E. They truly are dedicated to excellence. Excellence means an outstanding quality or feature. Yes, over the last four years, our athletic teams have been excellent. Our academic teams have been excellent. Our recognition as one of the best high schools is excellent. But you know what truly is D2E? These students and their drive. They set their mind to something and they keep pushing hard. They take the younger students under their wings and they guide them in the correct direction. These 34 kids have grown into amazing young adults. Whether it's walking down the hall, playing their instruments, singing row, row, row your boat, coming to my office just to vent or to chat, attending each other's events, or being responsible with their lunch privileges. 
These kids are truly the definition of dedicated to excellence. These kids mean more to us than they'll ever know. I'd also like to thank all of you for your support, making this happen today. And also for preparing your kids. You have some amazing kids. They're just good human beings. And I want you all to remember that the future is ahead of you. All you have to do is choose happiness and everything else will fall into play. So I'd like to start by introducing one of your co-class of 2020 presidents to deliver the welcome speech, Landon Larkin. Good evening. My name is Landon Larkin, co-president along with Branson Vall, and I am honored to be speaking to you tonight. The class of 2020 thanks you for coming to celebrate this milestone, one we all worked extremely hard to get to. I am proud of all my peers and cannot wait to see where all your bright futures take you. Our resilience through extreme world events to get to this point has shown we can do many things we put our mind to. Although this may not have been the way we wanted our senior year to end, it has proven we have the ability to adapt to situations that come our way and make us appreciate even more the memories we've made. I would now like to thank everyone who has supported us along the way and helped us get to this point. First of all, our teachers for making it as easy as possible for us during the home stretch here at EHS and for doing their best for us on their couches instead of the classroom, even though we would have liked less homework. Thank you to Ms. Fruit and Mr. Favor and the rest of the administration for giving us the opportunity to experience a senior prom while many other schools just canceled. And last but not least, our families who have been there for us every step of the way and shown us true unconditional love and support. I can speak for everyone when I say we appreciate you and love you so much. Thank you and how about a round of applause for the class of 2020. Great job, Landon. And now it is my pleasure to announce the Salutatorian and Valedictorian Awards. It is a distinct honor for me to present these awards. These are given to the students in the senior class who have the highest grade point averages. The students do have their medals already and have been presented at the graduation that we did in there with the photo op. So I'm going to have the students stand to be recognized when I say their name. And normally at graduation, I would stand up here and say, wait to cheer for the kid until all the kids have been through. But let's give these kids a huge round of applause. So when we hear a kid's name, I wanna make sure I can hear all of you guys cheering, okay? So receiving the salutatorian award for the class of 2020 is Kylie Condon. Receiving the valedictorian award for the class of 2020 is Megan Harness. And now Megan will come up and give the valedictorian speech. We are gathered here today with friends, colleagues, teachers, and family to celebrate something truly amazing. Well, class of 2020, we made it. Well, this was definitely an unexpected ending to our senior year. Nevertheless, it's been a wild ride, and I wouldn't want to spend my time at EHS with anyone else. Most of, us, most of this class has been together since the very beginning, and even though we gained and lost some people along the way, this class has made my time at Earlville High School a time to never forget. Some of us might not be as close anymore, but nevertheless, we are all one big family, one big family who is going to do great things. I remember when I was in eighth grade, watching all the seniors walk across the stage, and I dreamed of the day when I would be the one walking across the stage to get my diploma. Well, here I am on the soccer field, funny enough, and I'm realizing now that it's going to be hard to say goodbye. It will be hard to say goodbye to your childhood friends, your favorite teachers, 
and all the people who made your many years of schooling memorable. Over the years, I watched this class accomplish great things, along with making some mistakes. We've all had our ups and downs, but I am proud of what this class has been able to achieve. We've all come a long way from being scared little freshmen, praying that this would be the fastest four years of our lives. Well, we were right about one thing. It was a fast four years, but I would give anything to go back, as I believe most of us would. I would give anything to sit next to my friends at the lunch table one last time. I would give anything to hear that bell again, or to go to another homecoming game, have one more dress up week, or one last prom. I would give anything, as funny as it sounds, to hear, have a D2E day again over the loudspeaker. No matter how insignificant these things may have seemed while in high school, there is where my memories lie. This is how I will remember EHS. For some of us, this night is bittersweet and nostalgic, not wanting to let go of the people we've known our whole lives. For others, this night is filled with excitement and anticipation, ready to get that diploma and go make a difference out in the world. Whatever this night means to the graduates and to the families, teachers, and administration, let it be a night to remember. It's okay to cry, but for now, let us be happy and proud. We've all earned our spots upon this stage. As we enter the next chapter of our lives, whether it be going back to school, joining the military, or crushing it out in the working world, let us all remember the memories we made and hold on to them for as long as we can. I want to say that we'll all stay in touch, but who knows what the future will bring. Even though we feel like a large chunk of our lives is already over, we all still have many years of opportunities ahead of us. But as long as you remember our time at Earlville High School, we know that we will always have a place to call home. The world is going through some crazy times right now, hence the July graduation. So it will take a strong generation of people to conquer all of the problems in this world. This class is the answer. We have some of the brightest, most ambitious people up here today and out currently serving our country. People who are ready to take the world by storm. I know in my heart that this class is going to be the change that the world so desperately needs. So as long as we put in the work and never give up, we can accomplish anything. This day, this very warm, windy July day, will be one that we all look back on for the rest of our lives. But we couldn't have gotten here without people to push us along the way. Thank you to all the families who believed in their graduate or graduates and helped them along with encouragement and optimism. Thank you to all the teachers who pushed us to learn more and strive to be better students and people. I don't know how you guys deal with all the complaints, the oh, that test was today, or the, wait a minute, we had homework, and the constant talking, laughing, and bickering. Thank you to the faculty who kept the school running smoothly while we were there. But most of all, thank you to my fellow graduates, the entire class of 2020. Each of you has taught me something different, whether it be about friendship, compassion, competitiveness, or who is the best at getting the teacher off topic. I have learned many things from you guys. Some of us may have our differences, but in the end, we all made it here together. So as we walk away from this building for the very last time as students, hold your heads high. We all have something to be proud of. Thank your teachers, parents, friends, and especially yourself, because that's who got you here. Cherish this moment, because graduating high school is a big deal. We've all put in the work to get here, and now our work has finally paid off. So look out, world. There's a new group of amazing young men and women coming your way. So you better prepare yourself, because this group right here is going to change the world. This time is one of my favorite parts of the night. We are so fortunate to have a community that supports the school and the students. In the next few minutes, you will hear over $20,000 donated to these graduates. The students have already received the scholarships and presentations, but we would like them to stand where they are as their name and scholarship is called. The $1,000 Michael Joseph Norton Memorial Scholarship, Shelby Hoppus.
the $1,000 Herbert N. Wiki Memorial Scholarship, Michaela Hoagland. The $1,000 Harold and Edwin Wold Memorial Scholarships go to Landon Larkin and Megan Harness. The $500 PTA scholarship, Shelby Hoppus. The $250 Donna Schreckengross Memorial Scholarship, Evan Avilas. The $1,000 Ida Tillman Wold Memorial Scholarship, Megan Harness. The Earlville Lions Club for $1,000 each, Megan Harness and Haley Anderson. The $500 Dalton Ambler Memorial Scholarship, Branson Vall. I will now introduce Ms. Marks to present the next group of scholarships. The $500 Earlville, e Earlville Teachers Association Scholarship, Megan Harness. The $500 Ernie Russell Family Scholarship, Hayden Bomstead. The $200 Bailey Russell Scholarship, Jaden Pickert. $1,000 Rosalie Harmon Memorial Scholarship, Megan Harness. The $1,000 David A. Farley Memorial Scholarship, Megan Harness. $250 Herbal Business Association, Kylie Congdon. The American Legion Awards for Elliot Omi and Haley Anderson. At this time, we would also like to recognize those that have joined the service. Shelby Hoppus, United States Navy. Lauren Vasquez, who is currently at boot camp, Marine. Elliot Omi, who is currently at boot camp, U.S. Army. And the Jeremy Stockley Memorial Scholarship, Hayden Bomstead and Landon Larkin. And next we will have Mr. Favor. Thank you. Uh, before I present the rest of the scholarships, um, I want to offer my personal congratulations to each of you. This is truly a fantastic group of uh, young men and women. Um, thank you for your service and dedication at SHS. You guys were an amazing group. Um, I also want to recognize uh, the two people who really made this event possible, um, Mrs. Fruit and uh, Mrs. Marks. Um, from the time we sat down and planned uh, what this could look like uh, to try to do it as safely as possible, uh, we had that meeting and really uh, Jeanette and Pam uh, ran with it. Um, and I, I think you would agree, I hope you would agree that, you know, this resulted in just a fantastic, beautiful evening. I'll take credit, I ordered up the weather, um, but they, they basically took care of everything else. So Jeanette, uh, Pam, thank you for everything you guys did this evening. The Samantha Rose Felix Memorial $500 Scholarship, Shelby Hoppus. The Margaret Dordery Stockley Memorial $1,000 Scholarship, Branson Vall. The $1,000 Charlotte Larson Memorial Scholarship, Kylie Cogden. The $500 Foundation for Excellence in Education Scholarship, Kylie Cogden. 
the $1,000 Mary L. Farrell Memorial Scholarship. Three winners, Kylie Cogden, Alexandra Kuntz, and Kylie Kuntz. The $1,000 Thomas M. Anderson Memorial Scholarship, Haley Anderson. The $5,000 Clifford E. and Elaine G. Emil Memorial Scholarships, Landon Larkin and Megan Harness. And the first year for this final scholarship, the $500 Jennifer Road Memorial Scholarship, Ms. Haley Anderson. I'll now turn it back over to Mrs. Fruit. We have now come to a very important part of the night. I would like to introduce the co-class presidents of 2020 senior class so we can have the presentation of diplomas. So if I could please have Mr. Landon Larkin and Mr. Branson Vall. Megan Elizabeth Harness. <laughs> Kylie Ann Congdon. Haley Nicole Anderson. Evan Alejandro Avilas. Christopher Charles Bowles. <laughs> Hayden Scott Bombstead. Brandon James Coombs. Melissa Elaine Decker. <laughs> William Klein Eccles. Kenzie Renee Farley.
Jared Jonathan Freeze. Emmanuel Gomez Santabria. Michaela Margaret Hoagland. Shelby Jean Hoppus. Zachary Tyler Curley. Alexandra Lynn Kuntz. Kylie Marie Kuntz. Elliot Tyler Omi being received by his sister Caden. Kaylee Faye Phillip. Jaden Ann Pickert. Hunter Wilson Provo. Johan Gustavo Rico. Nathan Thomas Saxey. Michael Anthony Sansone Jr.
Daniel Paul Terrence. Lauren Za Vasquez being received by her brother Diego. Logan, Logan Heston Wesson. Dawson Lee Whitaker. <laughs> Jacob Scott Wilson. Landon Robert Larkin. <laughs> Branson Chandler Vall. So in closing, I want you all to remember, we believe in you. We know you're going to change the world, and we know that you're the most resilient group of young adults out there. I'd like to thank you all again for your support and guidance. Alumni, parents, faculty, community, we appreciate you helping us in celebrating such an amazing event. We have students already signed to go to colleges, trade schools, military, the workforce. And did you know that between these students, they have over 190 hours already for college and career readiness. We know you guys are gonna do great things in your life, but without further ado, seniors, please stand. All of you may now move your tassel from right to left, and I present you the graduating class of 2020. For your last time, have a D2E day and make us proud, graduates. Congratulations.